In this video, we're going to discuss the different decisions that you can get in the game. Obviously, squash is a very gladiatorial game that's contested in a confined space, which is very rare amongst racket sports. In fact, it's pretty much unique. For this reason, you get decisions which are unavoidable on the court because of the interference. You get no lets, which is when a player or what's known as the striker can't get to the ball, that's given as a no let if, if they're not making the effort that's required to go and play the ball. Another example of a no let is actually when you see a player go for another player and rather than taking the line to the ball, which results in a no let. You also get yes lets, which is when you get the clearing player, the non-striker, and the striker who's going in to hit the ball and they, they, they just clash and no one's really at fault. They're both trying to, to get through or, or get past and play the ball and keep the game flowing, but it results in a yes let and sometimes that's unavoidable. Another reason for a yes let is when there's that fear of safety. Now that could be a player that's about to strike the ball not knowing where the opponent is. It could be the danger of the swing. It could be the risk of a ball striking the ball. It's when, when the striker stops and they're not sure where the opponent is, quite often that will be a yes let. With, with the ball hitting an opponent, if it's going towards a side ball, that's only ever given as a yes let as well. The other decision you can get is a stroke. Now a stroke is when a player just can't hit the ball. Your opponent's in the way, you can't hit the ball. That can be for swing interference, it's a stroke. Sometimes on the follow through, if you can't swing because of the follow through, that's also awarded as a stroke. In the same, same respect, if the ball is travelling on a direct path for the front wall and it hits an opponent, unfortunately that's also a stroke. So it's a bit of a double whammy because you get the pain of being hit by a ball and then the pain of having given a point, point to your opponent. Also in terms of clearance, if an, if an opponent isn't clearing properly and they're in your direct path to the ball, then that would be a stroke. One other example of a stroke is when a, a player comes in, plays a shot, and they don't clear it. So if they're just stuck on that ball and, and the incoming striker tries to get through, tries to play it and, and they just can't, that will also be a stroke. So that's a basic overview of the decisions that you get in a game of squash.